Right now, the best shotgun in Apex Legends is more difficult to pick than it has ever been in the past, which honestly is a pretty good thing. It means you have choices and most will be pretty reliable. Which shotgun you should use will depend a little bit on your playstyle. So let's see if we can go over each one and give you some recommendations in, let's say, less than five minutes. The Mozambique is honestly the most underrated weapon on the list, and it's actually a pretty solid weapon for what it is. First off, it's fully auto, which isn't anything too unique as the EVA 8 is as well. But unlike the EVA, I find the beak can be full autoed with a bit more success. If you are looking to run the Mozambique, its real strength lies in its overall range. The beak can do almost a full hit at 30 meters and even further when you are holding down full auto. While the PK can do some big hits at range with the choke, it's not nearly as effective and as easy to do as it is with the Mozambique because you do have the way for that choke to activate. Because of this though, the beak is pretty underrated, but the biggest thing that the Mozambique lacks is overall damage output since it only does 45 damage to the body and it only has six rounds. Six rounds sounds nice for a shotgun, but this means the beak caps out around 270 body damage while its closest comparison of the EVA 8 will do about 400. Also, it doesn't really reward headshots since there is only three pellets. If you like a shotgun with some more range, then I think I would give the Mozambique a try. The EVA 8 though did see a pretty hefty nerf of one damage per pellet and it sounds small, but it really isn't. It also had a small nerf of the fire rate and both of these for me have made it fall off quite a bit. The EVA is still a great shotgun for someone looking for something that is easy to use and very forgiving due to that magazine size. If you are a little sloppy with your shots, then it will be favorable for you because you can follow up with another shot quite quickly. However, beyond this, the EVA lacks some solid damage output now and especially true if you are not hitting consistent body shots. You will now have to hit four EVA body shots to kill a player with blue armor and have to do a healthy three hit to kill someone with gray. I say to use the EVA if you are struggling with shotgun aim or if you want something a little bit more forgiving. Otherwise, I would much rather have something that hits a higher damage amount as this is what I really want from shotguns. You can also look at the EVA on the other side of things though. If you're insanely accurate, you might be able to benefit from the EVA as you can really do some quick DPS, but for the most part, you ain't rolling up to a fight hoping to wipe a team with your shotgun. I think it will mostly be better to pick something that is a little bit harder hitting. For this, we're gonna take a look at the Massive, which is a bit of the in-betweener between the EVA and the PK. For me, the Massive is the most reliable shotgun this season, and it is one that I think most should be running for a few reasons. The Massive is the easiest to do damage due to the pelt spread, which is completely horizontal. This is a double-edged sword though, and you will need to be very close to get full hits. Even the Massive though will still do a nice 60 to high 70s body hit when you are outside of the 5 to 7 meters, which means this thing can chunk enemies pretty quickly if you are accurate. The one weird thing about the Massive that you should be aware of though is that if you are not barrel stuffing enemies, you will want to aim for the body. Since the pellet spread is horizontal, you are going to miss pellets on the head and this means a full body hit would actually do more damage than if you were aimed for something like the head because you are going to miss some pellets, specifically the outside too. The best part about the Stiffy, I mean Massive, is the ability to do partial reloads. Partially reloading is so underrated, and if you are in a crazy endgame with multiple teams around and you're just letting the shotgun rip, being able to reload one shell at a time means you will be able to do a more consistent damage output. Not to mention the new dual shell means you'll be able to actually pack a punch and this quick reload helps a ton. I know hitting 11s can be annoying, but the Massive is something that is very reliable if you have some good aim and if you want a little bit more of a steady stream of damage output. The Peacekeeper, however, for me is my best shotgun this season as the buff to the pelt size made this thing extremely reliable in hitting huge numbers. Not to mention the choked PK can do a near full hit at about 20 or so meters away, which makes this thing a little versatile for doing some damage at range. Two hits to the body will kill any blue and gray armored enemy and almost any purple shielded enemy. All you have to do is hit one pellet to the head and you will do 200 damage to kill a purple shielded enemy. There's no doubt about it though, the PK is the hardest to use and if you miss shots, it is gonna be devastating in fights and you would be much better off with something like the Mastiff so you can follow up with another shot a little bit quicker. For me, the PK though is really the ability to know that when I take out my shotgun, I'm gonna be doing the most damage I can in a single shot, which is what I want from this secondary. Spray with my primary, get them low, and then swap to my shotgun to finish them off. For this, the PK is my best shotgun this season. The Massive is the most reliable and well-rounded. The Eva is for those looking for a little bit more forgiveness. And the Mozambique is that small chunker that will hit at range. That is enough from me though. What do you think of the shotguns this season? Drop a comment down below and let me know your favorite. Also, comment down below if I should do this for any other weapons and be sure to subscribe to my second YouTube channel as I am planning on uploading some other cool Apex and other gaming videos over there very soon. Links to that, our community discord and everything else are down below. Until next time, Happy Gaming Legends.